This, this thing sort of fell over a bit. Bring the mosquitoes to me. I will deal with them myself. <laughs> what could go wrong? Everything. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Sorry it's been uh, about a month. Um, we, the holidays were on and then we were, it was raining and we didn't get a chance to, to do any filming. Yeah, um, yeah. So the footage that you're going to see today is from uh, over the last month basically and we've yeah. sort of compiled it all together for you. Um, so yeah, yeah, we hope you enjoy. We hadn't fallen into a black hole. <laughs> we just had school hol holidays and so on. So yeah, here we are. <laughs> Here we are, and let's get on with it. Okay. It's absolutely freezing. Welcome back. Yep. Um, time to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Our job today is this. This, this thing sort of fell over a bit. I didn't fall over, it was pulled over. <laughs> it wasn't pulled over. It, it was a victim, wasn't it? It yeah. was a victim of circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> there was a large um, laurel bush here that Paul took great offence at. He was very, very upset with it's it. It's an invasive species. It's an invasive species. Mm, it's not native. Yeah. So Paul dragged a huge root out with the digger but unfortunately also dragged the wall over, so we have to rebuild it. Yeah, the roots were inside the wall, so there was no way to avoid it. Um, but now we've got to rebuild the wall. This dry stone walling is indeed a skilled job, which we have never done before, so... Are we are dry stoning it, are we? Yeah, it's just, oh, just, yeah, just basically yeah. a, a well-arranged yeah. pile of stones. It's a wall-arranged pile of stones. Yeah, so let's go and do it. What could go wrong? Everything. <laughs> so I think the first thing we've got to do is, is make a pile of the different piles of stone so we know what we've got. I have to say, though, this... <laughs> sorry, the kids have been playing in here. They've turned this into their own little miniature construction site. <sighs> I can't help but notice, though, that... Is this not mortar? Yeah, did they not mortar some, some of this in? They did, yeah. Whoever built this wall? It's because it's a bit like a bit of a crazy wall. So it's not fully dry stoned then? It's been... Yeah, it's been bodged several times. You can see that the wall's actually sloping down and all the stones are also sloping down. Um, yeah, the, wall, the stones are not all supposed to be at an angle like this. They're supposed to be flat so that the gravity doesn't make them slide. Mm. So this wall is a bit funky, um, but to fix it, we'd have to rebuild the whole thing, which I'm not going to do. So we're just going to put it back together how it was and hope for the best. <laughs> Will it truly be how it was? No. <laughs> if we're getting involved. If we're involved, it's not going to be how it was. No, it's going to be the best we can do. Yeah. Right. Right, let's make piles of stones. So we've uh, got our little heaps of stones, but... Oh God, There's magnificent stones. arrangement. <laughs> stones Bigger here. stones and super stones, <laughs> but also... Laurel root. Yeah, that was... didn't come out no. when we are... Uh... Or when we, when you <laughs> it didn't come out when we pulled the laurel bush out um, but it's got to come out because the last thing we want is a rebuild the stupid wall and have the laurel bush go that high on my laurel bush again so okay. we've got to get it out which means using the digger and some elaborate rope arrangement that helen said earlier it's not elaborate it's Let's... the same old rope that we always use let's go get your digger keys off you go okay off i go so yeah we're ready to go. I, I failed to see the problem. I have put chain around that route and the digger is there. You have your doubts, but I'm... Brilliant. Powerful. 
though. We've got our root and we've got this chain, which is clearly just going to come straight off of here. It's not! But let's see how it goes. And it was attached to the digger, obviously. There we go. Yep. I reckon this will work. Let's see. <laughs> but I reckon this will work. I wrapped the chain around it twice. There you go! It worked! It worked. <laughs> what have you got to say for yourself? It's a bloody miracle! <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, he just wants to purr and look at the floor. Oh, and get kisses off Doofy. So cute. Don't hit her. Hello, right, what's going on? Uh, well, we thought we'd show you uh, our action plan against flying insects. In um, summer, there's a lot of uh, midges and just generally flies in France. Mm. Inside old buildings, you get flies on the inside because they live in the walls and then they go to sleep in winter. And they breed in the walls and then they come to life in spring when it gets a bit warmer they all start flying around and hatching out so we have um invested <laughs> against the midges in some new technology <laughs> you have invested <laughs> i had no say in this it just arrived let's have a look at it come with me voila mosquito magnet and what this is is um, an exterior mosquito and midge trap. So let's put it together. Okay, is this an outdoor job yeah, or an indoor job? Okay. Let's unbox it. Okay, go on then. The cats have come to help, of course. That. Here's one, Hello. there's the other. And this one, of course, is in prime position. Some of these. I wasn't looking at any of the stuff you unboxed. No. So does this come with the <coughs> gas for it no, or do it we doesn't. now, do no, we have to? Yes, we've got to find the gas ourselves, which means... The shop. So I know we have some old um, barbecue gas bottles in the barn. Hopefully they're the right kind. Oh, do we? Okay. Yeah. them. Is that my throwing away? Is that like a potato cannon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lord Vader. <laughs> Bring the mosquitoes to me. I will deal with them myself. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <clears throat> Moving on. One of these. This is the business end. Where they get the mosquito this goes this way around and the mosquitoes end up in here oh that's lovely that's theory. going to be delightful yes fly traps are always utterly delightful yep that's the main what do you think doofy thing. okay so there aren't any parts here are there <laughs> she couldn't care less <laughs> well look at that and presumably the gas bottle goes on the stand here yeah Yes, we I know. As Paul was saying, um, we got the big mosquito trap to get the many, many mozzies we get around here. But as he also said, we get a lot of flies as well. And we catch the flies with beer. <laughs> It's a nice, simple, easy way to do it. We've got these little traps that you can pick up in any garden centre. I'm sure they sell them all over the world. These are not just a French thing. And I've got some beer over here. Oh, which is actually quite a good make. I said to Paul, get some beer for the flies. I expected him to come back with maybe a four pack of the cheapest, worst beer ever. But no, he's come back with an entire keg for the flies of Pelfor, which is quite a decent beer. It's a big treat for the flies. So if you can see this, I'll uh, aim it in a second, change you guys so that you can see. 
we get our beer. I'm just gonna sort of, <laughs> sort of try and aim it as we go. Do a little, oopsie, try not to fire it straight down the hole. Do a little splurge. And then so that we're not wasting too much on flies, I'm gonna add water up to about halfway. There we go. Pop its lid on and that's ready to hang up. So let's go and hang it up. So that behind me, wherever it is, can you see it? Is it there? <laughs> that behind me will hopefully catch some of the flies that are starting to now wake up because it is getting much warmer in the daytime. So we are starting to see them popping out around the chateau. So it just keeps it nice and clear of flies and other bugs, wasps, things like that throughout the whole of the sort of warmer season so that we can eat and have a nice time out here without being bothered by seven zillion buzzing, pinching, biting, stinging things. So yeah, it's an easy job. It's not very interesting, but it needs doing. Uh, right. I propose that we just level it off a bit I thought we just leveled it off off camera. I know, but this bit is lumpy. Look, we need to get some get some big stones in here, and then sort of build these outer bits. Right, let's see how we go. Camera's a bit close there, but hopefully we won't destroy yeah. it in the process. <laughs> it started to go wrong. Uh, <laughs> I can't even form proper words no. anymore. Um, yeah, building walls is hard <laughs> if you're not just doing brick, cement, brick, cement, brick, cement. When you're using misshapen bits of... When have you done brick, cement, brick, cement before? I mean, I've done Lego, so... <laughs> There's no cement in Lego, though. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Super glue? No. Anyway. It's starting to go wrong. Let's have a look at the mess. It's not that wrong. No, 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 no. It's just, it took us a much more significant period of time to find <clears throat> the right rocks to fit in the gaps than we'd anticipated. We're going to continue finding the right rocks mm. or the wrong rocks and then just hammering them into place and calling them right. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Um, as I was saying, before we had to rapidly change the camera battery, um, Paul did say a few hours ago, we need to take some of this wall down to do this properly. And I was like, no, we're just going to bodge it. I hate this job. And it turned out that he was right. So yeah, there is now less wall than we started with. <laughs> and there's more mess as well. And there's a lot more mess, but we realised that basically the wall has crumbled not crumbled, but the sort of the fill that's been used has kind of crumbled internally. So it's a good thing to take it apart up to a certain point and um, just rebuild it properly. So that's what we're doing now. We've got our long rock in place and now we've just got to build that height back up around it slowly to get it a bit more sane. So yeah, 
on we continue yes so <laughs> less wall than there was on the higher sort of area but at least this bit is wally where there was no wall before Okay. <laughs> yeah, we had to stop. We haven't eaten anything since breakfast, which was about a million years ago. And it's what, three o'clock in the afternoon now. So starting to lose the ability to tell which way up is. Not the best state to be building a wall. So we're going to stop here for the day um, and carry on. Yeah, next week next now. Next week. I did get an email from the school saying there's a strike on Tuesday. Oh so... my God. We'll have Monday. Uh, Hopefully it's not going to be raining. Yeah, of course it'll be raining. Oh, I think it might be raining. We might have to get the garden parasols out. I'm not doing wall building in the rain. He's not doing wall building in the rain. No. No. Anyway, let's see what happens. So, we are on the dark side of the house. Yeah. <laughs> and what's going on? Um, I just picked up a new bottle of um, butane, which is in the same place as our bottles of gas for the cooker go, just because it's proven a safe location for them. And Helen's kindly uh, installed a fly manufacturing device earlier in the previous <laughs> year. Not quite it's sure why she decided that, but it's producing flies at an alarming rate. So it is not. a fly catching machine. <laughs> This is for mosquitoes, no? Mosquitoes like humans, not recycled food, I think. So. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see, anyway. right. Hook it up. I have to get these things off. I hate these things. Oh, well, they always nip your fingers. Yeah, well, I just don't know how to do it. Oh, like that. There we go. Unscrew it? Yep. And that goes like this. What's that green thing? Regulator. Keeps the gas at a particular pressure. Oh, okay, fine. Plug the power in, so we've got to run the power. Yep. Which is on this massive cord. I mean, that's good though, right? Yeah. So the plug is going in. It appears to be one of those ones that doesn't go on clockwise or anti-clockwise. Oh, is it a twisty plug? Where you sort of no, it's got a thread, it just doesn't work either way. So that's, that's helpful. Useful. It says turn the propane on slowly. I read ahead. It does. Do you turn it on at the power first, as in turn its switch on or no, not? No, it doesn't say to do that. Apparently you never turn it on. <laughs> this is assembly instructions though. Okay. <laughs> Uber is not cooperating. There we go. That's not starting one. instructions. Ooh. Blah blah blah. I'd really like you to not turn say rocker switch to on position. Oh wow, okay, fine. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I can hear it humming. It's it's on. And the red light on the switch will flash for up to 20 minutes. Jeez. For okay. what reason? <laughs> <laughs> it likes to. Okay. Once the light stops flashing and is solid, the mosquito magnet is fully operational. Wow. Okay. Well, let's go and get a cup of tea and give it 20 or so minutes and come back and see if it's fully operational. Let's come and have a look at this flashy light then. Here I come. It is indeed flashing. I'm perilously close to this gas bottle. It's all right, there's a look, there's gas bottles there as well. You see, in good company. That's true, yeah. Yeah, our cooker gas is right there. <laughs> so, yeah, fair enough. Okay, let's uh, On. give it some time to think about its life. So, the red light is flashing, is not flashing. It is now constantly Ooh. illuminated, which means it's working. Excellent. Let's have a look um, at this <laughs> inaugural moment. Feast your eyes on the glory of the red light. Wow, there we go. Look at that red light. Never before have I seen such a red light. 
And so, yeah, now we just wait for mosquitoes to go inside it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, so, yeah, we'll keep you updated on whether it was worth the ridiculously expensive price. It was 600 bucks. Oh, my goodness. I know. But um, so... I just, can we, like, I think we should go around and compare to the beer trap. See how many flies my beer traps have caught. Yeah, we can do a live update. Yeah, they've um, been they've been down for about an hour, so I think we ought to go and see that in a moment. All right. Well, they cost nothing, so they're, yeah. they're very very good at catching flies and um, wasps and um, hornets. Yeah, yeah. Um, Although the hornets never die, the flies get. The hornets never die. <laughs> they just live forever. <laughs> it feels like it. So I'm the winner, as normal, <laughs> because I, this is kind of disgusting. I know we're showing you like drowning flies, but it's caught tons. And Look. how long has it been? Oh, I put it up there when you went out to get the gas bottle. So an hour and a half, maybe. Yeah, so it's only been there an hour and a half and it's already... It's got a good 20 odd, hasn't it? Got some horrible flies in there. Yeah, nasty old blue bottles and stuff. So yeah, you can keep your 600 euros. I've got like seven euro little plastic thing from the garden center and um, sort of, I don't know, 20 odd, 30 odd mil of beer and a bit of water. But yeah, they don't nip you and do horrible mozzie bites on you. They're just flies. So we'll see. There we go. <laughs> what do you got to think? What do you say about it? Nothing? No. no, his squeak is broken. Oh dear. <laughs> um, it's a new day, uh, it's cold again, uh, the kids are back at school so we can build some wall. Oh. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Where do we get to? Let's have a look. We've got a little bit of wall happening here. <laughs> Not too many cross pieces yet. We're going to have to put some in, I think. Otherwise, mm. it's going to sort of fall apart separately, side to side. Um, but there we go. Now we've just got to carry on. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the sun to come round so that it's uh, warm. warm. Yes, it's very cold again. Yeah, yeah, it's not as cold as it was on the first day, though. I remember that day was quite dull. So at least we've got some full sunshine out, which is blinding me at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, let's get on with it. Okay. <laughs> you can't be filmed. You're just black. You come to see our wall? And approve of it? So, um, we've got rocks and some of them are sort of the right shape, but sort of not. Take this one, for example. Let's have a look. <coughs> ah, yes. Yes, this one wants to go in here, really. Does it though, or do you want it to go in there? <laughs> but it's got this sort of roof bit on it, which is making this stick up in the air. Yes, I see what you mean. Okay, and so sort of here. If this sort of bit here wasn't there, that would be ideal. So why don't we try hitting it with a chisel and see if it comes off uh, without destroying the rest of the rock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mallet's behind you. This hasn't gone well in past attempts, I have to say. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Aha. Right, see if that works any better. Might be still a bit lumpy. Get that bit off. This is where you smash the whole rock. Yeah. Right, let's try it again. Which way round was it? <laughs> <laughs> was that even the right bit? Yeah. It's a bit better. Maybe it'll go even further in, maybe. Yeah, because you've got a huge gap at the moment. Ah, oh, but no. 
that it wants to go there. Okay. Here what do you comes, think, Wupu? <laughs> here comes the inspector. <laughs> inspector Wupu. Show me about this hole, though. Yeah. Hmm. Hi, Poo. Is it acceptable? I'm calling that chiseling success. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Good for you. So here's our wall so far, um, which is looking wally, um, but we just noticed a sort of slight hitch uh, in that we appear to only have one top piece left <laughs> somehow. Two. Well, yeah, there's this one over here, yeah. which is a definite top piece. Yep. And then there's this triangle. And then we've got there. this bizarre triangle, which I don't know where that went, presumably on the corner. Uh, yep. And then, <laughs> and then uh, all that's these, <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a rockery <laughs> for the remainder. That so that's a bit confusing. Um, don't know what we're going to do now. Build a rockery. What? A rockery? Yeah, and we can put loads of little plants in there. It'll be cute. The kids can look after it. No, because the whole wall will fall over. <laughs>